is cutting in right now at the very latest. Saturday, I'm pleased to be joined by Black Caucus Chairman Jason Irvin, Alderman Burnett, Dow, Sawyer, Curtis, Coleman, King, Harris, Moore, and Scott. So I called this press conference this morning to talk through some of the misconceptions around my involvement in the shooting review of Laquan McDonald. Almost five years to the day, Laquan McDonald lost his life in a senseless tragedy that changed the trajectory of our city and spurred a foundational change for the Chicago Police Department that has been for the better. And I'm really sorry for the loss of life of that black young man on that day. I would like to talk briefly about my position, role, and responsibilities at the time of the shooting when I was a deputy chief of patrol. In the Chicago Police Department, area deputy chiefs are responsible for patrol operations in each of the city's north, central, and south side areas. They also serve as assistant bureau commanders. And like many members of the department's senior command staff, deputy chiefs viewed the body camera footage of the Laquan McDonald shooting and participated in an after action review which focused on officer training and equipment issues. In my particular case, I saw the video close to two weeks after the incident, and I was not in the initial larger after action meeting. At that time, I was a senior member of the department, but I was not involved in any superintendent level decisions on discipline following uses of force. Nor was I in a position to receive investigative updates from IPRA or internal affairs on any officer involved incident. So generally, my role and the role of current deputy chiefs at these preliminary reviews was to assist in the facilitation of any training or equipment audits mandated by the superintendent for officers and supervisors that were under my particular command. In some cases during these reviews, the deputy chiefs and commanders provide the superintendent and bureau chiefs with training and tactical considerations, as well as anecdotal information about the involved officers or areas where the incidents took place. So it would be improper for deputy chiefs to comment on areas outside of that as they are not privy to the full scope of available information. So to be clear, I never thought and I never said the shooting of Laquan McDonald was justified. What I will say today is that the incident was clearly a tragedy. It was devastating for the McDonald family, it was devastating for the Chicago Police Department, and it was devastating devastating for the city of Chicago. It showed me the outcomes of not investing in our police department, in officer safety, in professional development, and in accountability. Today, that incident drives me to make permanent and substantive investments in police reform, community policing, officer support, training, and mentorship. I became superintendent because I knew better than anyone that the Chicago Police Department needed structural change, and that's exactly what my team has accomplished. Now, I'm a product of this city, from public housing to public schools and ultimately public service. I've dedicated my entire professional life to serving and safeguarding the city of Chicago. I love this city. It's the only city that I've ever called home. From the improvements in public safety to our path to reform, CPD is a department of good men and women who genuinely care about the welfare of our community. So in closing, I'd ask each of you not to judge this department by what is said, but what we've done and what you've seen over the last four years to make Chicago safer and create an accountable, open, and transparent police department that our city and country can be proud of. So thank you all. And with that, I'd like to ask the chairman of the Black Caucus, Alderman Jason Irvin, to come up and say a few words. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Superintendent. Uh, again, Jason Irvin, uh, Alderman of the 28th Ward and Chair of the Chicago Automatic Black Caucus. Uh, we, too, are also sorry for uh, the loss of Laquan McDonald's life. This was a tragic uh, incident that occurred in, in our, our community. Uh, for the record, to be clear, we are not here to call for uh, Superintendent's resignation, as some may have uh, interpreted it. Or, or felt uh, we are here to support the superintendent. We believe him to be a man of integrity. Uh, he has kept his word to us and has been a champion in our community. Um, as it relates to the incident, uh, he has made his statement on that. Uh, and from what we know and understand of how the department works, uh, we know that 
Uh, no deputy chief and patrol is in the chain of making these decisions. Uh, the superintendent and the first deputy superintendent at the time made those decisions, pre -out, put out that narrative, and again, uh, the mayor at the time held them accountable for that uh, with the termination or resignation of Superintendent McCarthy. But again, we also want to focus on uh, the need for objectivity here. Um, we do not want to further polarize our city around this one particular incident, but we must uh, learn uh, from what happened and, as the superintendent indicated, uh, make the necessary structural changes to make our city better, to make our city safer, to make all of our citizens feel as they're part of our, a part of our city and not necessarily uh, segregated in any way, shape, or form. So, again, we are fully uh, in support of the work that the superintendent has done and continues to do for the safety of the citizens of our city. Thank you. That would take a few questions if you have any. I don't think they're pushing me out. They're pushing me in. No, I don't. I, you know, look, it, it, it's it's really frustrating. First of all, we talked about this three years ago. This is nothing new. You know, I said three years ago that I saw that video uh, of Laquan McDonald, and and you know, the sad part about it is now you know certain people, I guess, are um, rehashing something that's old news. You know, um, I think what this shows is, is the unity that we have in this city to make this city better. Uh, the mayor certainly, she and I talk all the time. You know, we talked back then when uh, this incident occurred. So she and I are fine. You know, the, what we should focus on is how do we continue uh, the momentum that we have right now in terms of, of keeping this city safe. That's what the focus should be on. You know, the Laquan McDonald incident was tragic, and, and that's something that's going to be with us for quite a while. You know, but I think um, we should learn something like Alderman Irvin said. You know, this is a, this is a teachable moment. You know, uh, it taught me from a police officer's perspective that we just have to uh, provide the resources for officers to have the best training that we can get them. But in terms of myself, you know, I've always said this, this entire thing is not about Eddie Johnson. It's about the police department and making the police department better and making this city better. I don't believe it's, it is a, a racial issue. I believe that this is just an issue that occurred and uh, individuals continue to bring this issue up. Um, we have seen the facts. Uh, we know what happened. We know what happened was wrong. Uh, and I think that we have to, as, as the superintendent said, uh, learn from those issues and continue to uh, better our department and better our citizenry in our, in our city. You know, for, from my perspective, I can't speak for someone else. I guess they just don't have anything better to do. But I will tell you this. You know, I said three years ago that I saw that video a couple of weeks after the incident happened and, and a couple of weeks after the initial decisions were made uh, regarding whatever was going to happen uh, with the officers. But I will say this, too. You all think about this for a moment. At that time in my career, I wasn't in a position of authority to do anything in terms of these incidents. Fast forward to 2016. Look at my record in terms of the Laquan McDonald incident and what I did. Is that forgotten now? No. When I became superintendent and was in a position to do something about it, I did that. So my record speaks for itself. But in terms of why other people want to rehash this, I, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them that. Thank you. <laughs> and that was Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson you know talking about a new Inspector General's report on, on the Laquan McDonald you know, shooting when other and his role in the things, investigation. You can continue watching about, our coverage of this news conference live online at CBSChicago.com.